dear students very good morning today we are going to discuss about introduction to embedded system okay so let's start so what is embedded system so embedded system means it has both software and hardware so we have to know about general purpose computer so what is mean by general purpose computer so it able to run a variety of software it contain uh, relatively high performance hardware component fast processor uh, and the data require an operating system so it has a, a gen in general purpose computer uh, like a laptop workstations tablets uh, tablets sorry uh, smartphone and server all comes under general purpose computer okay so before going to the introduction of embedded system we have to know the general purpose computer working okay so it is designed for heavy user interaction so general purpose is a heavy user interaction uses a variety of peripherals like a display keyboards mouse internet connections wireless communi communication capability so it uh, it expensive of the general purpose computers around hundred dollars to thousand dollars it uses a group of integrated circuit or ic so one implements the central processing unit it is uh, uh, several implement data memory and program storage so general purpose uh, uh, computer has a, a random access memory and the read only memory it has a primary memory and secondary memory so embedded computer so now we have to compare with the embedded computer uh, in general purpose computer so resources can be implemented on a single ic so in a uh, general purpose computer we have a microprocessor only all the units are surrounded but in embedded process embedded computer uh, it has all the unit in a single ic so include a variety of peripherals like uh, timers analog to digital converter digital to analog converters and serial interface it, it, it is small in size and makes them very versatile okay so this is the introduction about embedded computers so it contain a framework so what is framework only the needed software which is not intended to be changed frequently that is called framework so it has a low cost mainly it may contain a real time operating system which are used for a task scheduler so these are the examples of embedded computers so embedded computers used in the printer automotive system communication digital camera uh, like consumer electronics home appliances like washing machine okay so medical equipment scanner tv entertainment all the uh, uh, all the real time application has uh, embedded computers in that okay so next one the processor in a embedded system contain various units for its successful and fastest operation so what are the units uh, a processor has means uh, buses memories processing unit instruction register control units are the sum of the structural unit that on embedded processor should possess okay so a structural unit and embedded processor is internal bus instruction set catches control unit processing unit register set memory register program counter and stock pointer so we will discuss one by one so we have till now we discuss about introduction to embedded processor embedded computer so embedded system has both software and hardware mainly it is used for a specific task okay so let's come to the bus uh, so it it in in it internally connect all the structural unit inside the processor uh, it's with can be 8 bit or 16 or 32 or 64 bits it may be 
So all the internal units of the processor are communicated with the external bus through an uh, interface unit called a bus interface unit. It has a three bus, internal bus, external bus, ordinary cable. Okay. So next one is what is the purpose of address bus? So in this diagram, we can explain it has a control bus, address bus and data bus. So address bus is an external bus that carries address from the memory address register MAR is memory address register to the memory as well as input output devices and other units of the system. What is mean by data bus? is an external bus that carries data from or to the address determined by MAR that is memory address register. Next one is the control bus. It's an external bus that carries control signal to or between the processor and memory. Okay. So next one is instruction units. So what does mean by instruction unit? So before going to the instruction unit, we have to know about instruction queue. The processor executes several operations with the help of piece of code or program called the instruction. What is mean by instruction? It's a piece of code or program. All this instruction are arranged in a queue that is called the instruction queue. So it helps. Uh, the instruction register to execute instruction without the need of need to wait. So it has a two register. One is the instruction register and another one is the instruction decoder. So instruction register take the instruction code or op code sequentially to the execution unit of the processor. Next uh, what is the job of instruction decoder means it decode the instruction of code received at the instruction register and pass it to the processor control unit for its execution. Okay, so I hope you understand what is the purpose of instructional unit in an embedded processor. Okay, so this is the black diagram of structural unit of the embedded processor mainly it has a control unit and also it has a bus address bus data bus and a uh, control bus mainly control information is shared through control in a control bus and the data is shared by data bus and address is address information is shared by the address bus Okay, so after that we discussed about the instruction register and the instruction decoder and also instruction queue. Okay, so what is mean by catch? Catch is nothing but it is a temporary storage. So to store the information temporarily, it is we used the instruction catch. Okay, so a catch is available in your computer, laptop, mobile phone, browser, app, etc. The embedded processor has three catches memory for fastest operation. The three catches for catch level one, catch level two, and RAM memory. So, so we can if bandwidth is increased means latency and size of the uh, catches will decrease. Okay. So mainly instruction catch, branch target catch, that is BT catch, data catch. Okay, so next one is the control unit. So control unit is the one of the important structural unit in an embedded processor. It is responsible for all the control of the bus activity and the unit functions needed for processing. Okay, so bus functions and uh, unit units for needed processing okay so we have a prefetch control unit pfcu memory management unit it is mmu okay so next one is the processing unit processing unit receive the input uh, data uh, process it and produce the output so that is the function of the processing unit. ALU mainly it is used for the arithmetic and logic instruction and to the instruction present at the instruction register. Okay. Next one is the floating point processing unit FLPU. It is differed from the ALU used for 
uh, used primarily for fluting point processing. It is essential for fastest processing mathematical function in a microprocessor or digital signal processor. So atomic operation unit AOU lets, uh, lets a user instruction when a broken into a number of processor instruction is called atomic operation finished before an interrupt of the processor occur. Okay. So register set, system register set, floating point register set. We have a two type. Okay. Uh, next one is the program counter. Program counter plays a vital role. A program counter is a register that store address of the next instruction to be executed from the memory. So it generate the instruction cycle to fetch the address from the memory through MAR, memory address register. Okay, and also stop pointer is a register that store address of the last program request in a stack. So it is a pointer for an address which correspond to the stop top in the memory. Okay, so we have to know the main difference between program counter and the stack pointer. Okay, so program counter store uh, memory address of the next instruction. Um, memory address of the stop pointer store memory address of the last instruction executed okay so now it's the time for assessment what is embedded system uh, and uh, list the types of buses and what of the what is the role of catch memory in embedded system design okay so i hope you understand the introduction of embedded system design okay so thank you students. Have a great day.